Hi folks, Ron Wasik here, the Polish Pickle. This time with a little bit of an instructional video on how to film yourself while hiking. Let's start with the trekking poles. Just purchased myself some nice trekking poles and as you know they unscrew, they become long to your height, but they also become your filming device. In order to make one of these trekking poles useful as a camera holder, go out to your local boat shop and purchase a battery clamp. Battery clamp fits right on the positive or the negative post of the battery and tightens down, which leaves your screw for your cable. Well, in this case, it leaves the screw for the camera holder. I used to use the bipod, which is in essence the same thing. You can move the head all around, aim it the way you want to. It fits on the hip, right above the belt line, or on the belt line to prevent your hip from moving it up and down, with the camera right on the end face toward you. Well, in order to use this, I have to give up one of my walking sticks. So I've made a change to include my camera on the walking stick using the clamp I just showed you. The clamp opens up with the screw and you have the rubber tip. Underneath there's the carbide tip. Use the rubber tip on your belt. does virtually the same thing. Now you ask, how do you put the camera on there? 90% of all the tripods that come with cameras have a head on it that can be removed. Unscrew the screw, take the head off. Take the camera, mount the camera, on the screw, clamp it down, tighten the camera, turn the head toward you so you can see what you're doing. You even have an adjustment up, down, side, side to side to make it more perfect. Make sure you have a camera with the anti-vibration on it so as you're walking your hip doesn't make it go crazy. Now what you're doing, in essence, is filming yourself while walking, but not losing your stick at the same time. Now, turning this around, you can see what you can see while you're doing it. Turning it toward yourself, you can see exactly where the camera's aiming, you can see what it's seeing, so you know you're in frame at all times. If you want to get it out there a little bit further, make it a little bit better picture, just bring the camera down to where you can see yourself. Now standing perfectly in frame, all I'm going to do is turn this around so you can see what I'm filming. Now at the same time, close it, either set it off, put it on standby, extend your poles, and this becomes your walking stick again. You have control of your camera. You have it safely in your hand. Now it's going to shake a little here. It's going to move here, but at least you're able to watch it and tighten it back up again, or even take it off, put it in your pocket. You can use your stick when you're not filming. This works both ways. Dime a dozen, out on the street, 90% of these have adjustable heads so you can even turn the camera sideways, or take it off far enough that there's the head I was talking about. This will go right on that screw and allow you to film yourself watching what you're doing the whole time. Even the tiniest ones, $2.50 ones.
Take the hat off, put it on your walking stick. I personally use a camcorder so I can see what's going on. There's a lot of guys out there use the GoPro. They put it on their hat, they put it on a walking stick, but they don't have the nicety of having this to see what they're doing the whole time. I can see what's going on at all times with my camera. It takes a lot less editing. It's a lot faster. It does the job. You've seen some of my videos. They're not bad. Took a little while to learn. But I now have two walking sticks with a camera. Something for you to think about. Now I'm going to take a picture of that clamp on a battery to show you how that works. Take the screw apart, put it on your pole, put it back together. You've got your camera clamp. Thank you for watching. Give me a like. Let me know how you enjoyed this. Let me know if you learned anything from it. Thank you very much.